The Logitech MX Master 3S for Mac is pretty hard to beat whenever you're looking for a mouse for your computer because of all the great features Logitech has packed into it. So in this video, we're gonna break down this mouse, talk about who I think it's for and who should maybe look for a different option instead. A couple things I love about this mouse and there's a couple features with this that do get on my nerves a little bit. So when you look at this mouse, it looks kind of crazy. This thing is huge. And it's really designed with ergonomics and customization in mind. Cause you put your hand on it, there's a spot for your thumb on the side very comfortable grip on it, and it also raises your wrist up. I find this to be the most comfortable mouse to use for a long period of time because it just fits my hands so well. And then on the side of it, you have a scroll for side scroll, and then there's also two customizable buttons that come pre-configured as forward and backwards. Then there's also a hidden thumb button on the bottom of it too that you can use to activate different gestures or other custom commands on your computer, which we'll get into more of those here in a little bit. And then on the top, you have left click and right click, which are both quiet clicking, so you barely notice them whenever you're clicking. So quiet. And then on the top, you've got a scroll wheel that can either go in the free spinning or the ratcheting scroll mode, and you can change that with the button below it. And there's also a hidden click button on the scroll wheel as well, or you can also customize what the button below it does. So we'll get into all the customization with this mouse in a little bit, but there's so many great features with it. And then on the top of the mouse, you have a USB-C port for recharging. And in this 4 Mac version, you do actually get a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is perfect for keeping this recharged. You can also always use it while it's plugged in, which is really nice. And whenever you go to charge it, three minutes of charge gives you up to 30 hours of battery life. And I find I really only have to charge this every couple of months, the battery is that good. And on the bottom of it, we have one of the best features of this mouse, and that's the easy switch button. So this allows you to pair the MX Master 3S to up to three devices at once. And once they're paired, you can just scroll between them just using that button on the bottom of it. Some people do say they wish the button was on the top somewhere. I'm fine with it being on the bottom because I think it's nice to have it out of the way where you don't accidentally hit it. And there's also the off on switch. And the sensor on this is an 8K DPI sensor. So this is a very precise sensor and you can set the scroll speed as well as the mouse sensitivity all using the Logi Options Plus app. I also love this where you can use it very precise where you have to move your hand quite a long distance to move it, or you can also make it where you can move very quickly just by barely moving your wrist. And again, it's so comfortable due to the raised back on this. The ergonomics on the MX Master 3S for Mac are fantastic. One of the standout features is the horizontal scrolling on the side. And I've found that once you get used to this, it's really hard to go back to any other mouse that doesn't have it because it just makes so much sense, especially if you're using photo editing or video editing applications, or if you're quickly culling through files, you can use that horizontal scroll to very easily get through the timeline or finder or really anything that you're throwing at it. Another thing about this is the scroll wheel on the top works really well, but I did have an issue with my previous MX Master 3S and the top scroll wheel actually still works, but it makes this rattling sound when you spin it on the ratcheting mode, which is really annoying and something that I haven't been able to get fixed yet. So just know, the scroll wheel is nice on it, but it's also one of the weakest points that a lot of users complain about the scroll wheel going out. I also really like the rubber texture on it. Some people complain and say that it peels off. I haven't had any issues with my old MX Master 3S's finish, but some people do say that they have issues with the finish wearing away or with it getting grimy really fast. So if you get this pale gray version, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you have clean hands when you use it. So this is technically the 4 Mac version, which is kind of confusing because there's an MX Master 3S and there's also an MX Master 3S for Mac. Really all the 4Mac means is they give you a USB-C to USB-C cable instead of the USB-C to USB-A cable and you don't get the USB bolt receiver, which I think it's a little annoying that they held out on giving you that. Most Mac users are gonna use this with Bluetooth anyways, but it would have been a nice touch. You can always buy your own bolt receiver, but it's gonna cost you an extra $20 if you wanna have that USB functionality. So the scroll wheel works great and you can either change it from the free spinning to the ratcheting style scrolling, or you can also activate smart scrolling using the Logi Options Plus software where it'll actually intelligently increase or decrease the speed of the scroll wheel depending on how you're interacting with it. And I find that to work really well. Really Logi Options Plus is one of the standout features of this mouse because it allows you to update or change so many functions of the mouse and all the different buttons. You can either do system-wide functions or you can also set it up where you can do app specific functions. So on Final Cut Pro, for example, I have clicking the scroll wheel to be copy, but on my system preferences, I don't have that set for copy. And then you can do other different things with the different apps that you're in. I also really like the gestures button on this. You just press it and then you move it in a different direction. You can do things like changing between your different workspaces or full screen windows on Mac OS, or you can also use it for mission control or app expose or other different functions that you would typically use with the trackpad or the touch surface on top of the Apple Magic Mouse. I also found this to be a really great option if you wanna use this with an iPad and with a computer 
because repairing it is so fast just by flipping it over and changing between the different connections on the mouse. So that easy switch on it is fantastic for someone like me who has multiple devices and I don't wanna to go to Bluetooth settings and repair it every time or have to dig out a cable if I wanna repair the mouse. It's also super easy to put this mouse in pairing mode. You just flip it over, turn it on, go to the slot that you wanna pair with and then press and hold the button. Then the light will start to rapidly flash to show you that it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. Then just get on your computer or your iPad Go to your Bluetooth settings and you can pair it right there. And then it'll have it saved to that slot that you had it active on. The other special feature of the MX Master 3S for Mac compared to the other one is it really just comes in those Mac specific colors. There's two colors. There's pale gray, which goes pretty well with the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. Or you can also get the space gray version, which will also pair pretty well with space gray computers. And just know the space gray is different than the black or the charcoal color that they offer the normal MX Master in. So that's one reason that you would get this version instead. This mouse retails for $100 to $120 sometimes these days. And I think it's definitely worth picking up because it's so comfortable, has so much customization, the easy switch technology, the USB-C pairing on it, the gestures button. It's just really hard to beat the MX Master 3S for Mac. There's two other alternatives I would look into as well. There's the MX Anywhere 3S, which doesn't have the side scrolling on it. And it's also a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit better for travel. This one can take up a lot of space in a backpack, so you'll need to make sure you've got a larger backpack with a large pocket if you wanna fit this. And really the only other one I would recommend looking into is the Logitech Triathlon M720. That has almost all the same features as this. It's missing a couple things like USB-C recharging, but that's another really great option that is a little bit smaller and a little bit more affordable. But for most users, I would say just get the MX Master 3S because this is a fantastic mouse that gives you so much customization and is really comfortable to use for a long period of time. Either get the 4Mac version if you wanna get the free USB-C to USB-C cable, or if you want to get the one that has the Logi Bolt receiver, that's when you should just go and get the normal MX Master 3S instead, because you can still get it in that pale gray color, or the black or the charcoal also look pretty good with Mac accessories as well. So overall, I really recommend all the Logitech MX Master 3S mouses. You really can't go wrong with them. They work well whether you're using them on Windows, Mac, iPad OS, one device, two devices, three devices, they're gonna be a fantastic option for your computer setup. If you're interested in buying one of these, I do have links to buy in the description below. If you've got any questions, comments, or things that you think I'm wrong about, leave a comment down below, we'd love to hear them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.